Hello and welcome back to the Dividend Wave. This week we will be looking at three cash-rich companies that you should consider for your dividend portfolio. They are Apple, the consumer electronics and services company, Microsoft, the computer software consumer electronics and cloud computing company, and also Cisco, the networking hardware, software, and telecommunication equipment company. But before we cover these companies, let's listen to Warren Buffett and what he had to say during last week's Berkshire Hathaway's investors meeting. I don't know. And perhaps with a bias, I don't believe anybody knows what the market is going to do tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. I know America is going to move forward over time. So since those words last Saturday, we had this Thursday, the U.S. unemployment report come out at around 15 percent. And with the Nasdaq composite still advancing six and a half percent for the week and currently year to date positive. And we had the S&P 500 advance around four percent for the week and currently only 10 percent down versus the beginning of the year. So there is very little consensus on the market direction here. As you can see from this article on Bloomberg, there is a clear divergence. We see Citigroup finding this rise in stocks as puzzling. Most likely it has been fueled by the liquidity provided by central banks and they do advise caution. On the other side, we see JP Morgan that sees that this market advancing as justified. And they do see potential further gains, even if at a more moderate pace. Continuing with the divergence, we see here Peter Brand, a renowned technician that has sold all these stocks and is one saying that we will enter very quickly a bear market. And again, on the other hand, we have David Hunter, a macro strategist that sees a potential run up of the S&P 500 to 4000 plus still this summer. He does advise that thereafter that could be a meltdown, but he does see on the short term a run up. So we at the dividend wave see this as a time of caution and more than ever to do some research on the stocks and define clearly the strategy. So we took a page out of Warren Buffett's playbook and we looked at companies that are currently cash heavy on their balance sheets. So we looked at Cisco, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, and Alphabet. And out of their latest 10Q reports, we looked at the cash and cash equivalent in the balance sheets. And you, what you have here are five companies that have 420 billion in cash and cash equivalent. That is enough to buy almost any other company on the S&P 500 at the current valuation. We also took the current liabilities and we've established the cash to current liabilities ratio. So what you see here is that all the companies are above one, which is excellent. So it means that current cash is enough to deal with all their short term commitments. Just as a comparison, Pepsi and Coke are below 0 0.5. So you see how uh, strong these balance sheets are. We also compared the current cash and cash equivalent to the long-term debt. And here the companies have opportunities to either refinance or add additional debt if a good opportunity appears in the market. And we also looked at the market cap and the cash as a percentage of the market cap. And what you see here is that these companies hold somewhere between 7 and 15% of their market valuation is actually cash. So this is quite interesting, especially if you're looking at uh, taking out cash when establishing your own valuation of the company. So in summary, these companies have enough cash to face their current liabilities. So enough liquidity for any short term storm. They do have enough cash for merger and acquisition, most likely acquisition especially in this environment where valuations can go up and down quickly. And also to refinance debt or use it for uh, securing some additional debt at the current low rates in the market. 
but only of these three do pay dividends. So those are the ones that we will be focusing on. So we will be looking at Cisco, Apple, and Microsoft when it comes to the dividend. We still like Facebook and Alphabet, but for a dividend portfolio, they are excluded. So similarly to what we have done before, here is the short form analysis for Cisco, Apple, and Microsoft. As usual, we take the dividend and a share price, and we have the current yield. As you can see, Apple and Microsoft are only in the 1% range, where Cisco is in the 3 plus percent. We took as well, as usual, the average four-year yield. And what you can see here is that Apple and Microsoft are trading at a significant premium currently. So they are yielding 33 and 41% less than what they have been over the past four years. Cisco is currently still positive in this aspect, so it's 8% better to buy it now than on average over the past four years. The three-year dividend growth is quite interesting for all these companies, so they are growing fast. So at this level, it will take these companies somewhere between seven to nine years to double their current yield. So the payout ratio has been fairly flat for these companies, with the exception of Microsoft, that has a much improved payout ratio versus the prior four years. So it means that the company has been growing faster EPS than what they have been uh, paying out as a dividend. When it comes to forwards uh, PE, what you see is that definitely Microsoft and Apple are on the high side, whereas Cisco has been a little bit beaten by the market currently. And they have paid dividends for the last 10, 8, and 16 years, respectively. So here we see Cisco as definitely as a good short-term opportunity, obviously for the long term. But Apple and Microsoft do trade at a significant premium currently versus the prior four years. They could still present an interesting opportunity for the long term, but we would like to see their prices come down slightly for us to start a new position. So this is your dividend wave for this show. Still one dividend payment per month. It's a pure coincidence versus last show. We're not doing this on purpose, but nonetheless interesting to manage your cash flow. It's a combined 1.3% yield if you were to invest in equal parts uh, in these companies, and you would be investing in cash-heavy balance sheet companies. For our European investors, we still recommend Revolut, uh, as they do have no commission trading. Um, for our North American viewers, the opportunities are uh, more abundant there with M1 Finance or Webull or Robinhood, among others. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, as usual, our uh, disclaimer that this is for uh, your entertainment and you should do your own research before you invest. Thank you. Subscribe, comment, and we will see you soon. Thank you.